Hi everybody, it's Catherine here. Can't wait to start talking to you all about today's fun little project. Super simple, super easy, nice for gifts, nice for friends, nice for yourself if you'd like. And we're just gonna wait a second or two here to get some people on board. And we're gonna be starting in just a second here. Thank you for bearing with us. All right. Well, hello everybody. I'm Catherine from the Sewing Studio at Lady Lake in the Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore. Welcome aboard. So this week's project is going to be custom coasters, but we're going to use a part of um, our machines. Hopefully you have one of these machines. If not, you can use your decorative stitches, but in some machines, there's a section called utility embroidery stitches. And what that does is it takes some of the decorative stitches out of your machine and turns them into embroidery. So we're gonna make some coasters with our decorative stitches. So for example, you've got stitches that are super cute like this little Halloween one. So you could do little coasters for a specific holiday or possibly you could do it for a birthday or possibly if you've got a cat and you're a cat lover, you could use your cat decorative stitches, or you could just use some of your beautiful decorative stitches that you have. Anyway, this whole section is seldom used and I think it's underutilized. So let's talk about how we can make these fun little coasters. Okay, so first of all, the supplies that you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need um, two layers of water soluble stabilizer. I find that when you're making coasters and squares, sometimes things pinch in a little bit with water soluble stabilizer, but if you use two layers of it, it doesn't seem to do it quite so badly and it just helps stabilize things a little bit better. Then when you're done, you throw them in the wash and that stuff's just gonna go away. Okay, you're also gonna need a square of batting. I like to do five, four by four coasters. So um, in terms of doing applique, I like to do a five by five square of batting and two squares of fabric, one for the top, one for the bottom. Okay. Once you've got that together, you have to think about doing these coasters like you're doing an applique. So typically the process for applique is first, you have a placement stitch. How do you know where to put your fabric in your batting until you've got that placement stitch? Once you have that placement stitch, you're gonna embroider the top stuff first. So you'll lay down your batting and your first layer of fabric with the fabric on top, and then you're gonna tack that down. So then you have your tack down stitch. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and do the guts of the design or the decorative fill stitches. Once those are done, you're gonna do a tack down stitch for the back fabric. So you'll pin the back in place and tack the back fabric down. Once you trim that off, the final step is the satin stitching or the finishing decorative stitches around the outside. And then you're done, super easy, super simple. So the section of the machine that I'm talking about looks like this. And we're gonna get started and I'll just give you a little demo on the machine. But this is your commonly used sewing decorative stitches that have been turned into embroidery. So let's get started. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off by going to my frames because I need to frame out my coaster. So I start by going to my frames and I of course like to do a square coaster in terms of doing lines of sewing. And I'm gonna choose this little rounded square um, option first. You know, on this particular machine, it's option number 10. So once I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and set that onto my screen. Now, you wanna have a four by four coaster or thereabouts. So you're gonna select edit to get your editing tools and then size so that you can make that coaster four by four. I'm at three and a half, 408, let's see, 403, 398, let's go to 403. So I've got my square and I've got it sized to 403. I'm gonna use this same square for several different things, placement stitch, tack down stitch, tack down stitch for the back, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and select okay and memory, and I'm going to save this to the memory of my machine. So once I've got my placement stitch square, I'm going to add from the memory of the machine that same square that we just did and set that. That'll be my tack down square. So the way that I like to keep this in my head is I like to colorize them two different colors so I know which one does what purpose. So I'm gonna select edit and then I'm gonna come down here to the colorizing key. So for my first square, I like to work in a rainbow. Red will be my placement stitch. Orange is going to be my tack down stitch. 
Okay. All right. So there we have our coaster. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see that a little bit better. Now we need to add our rows of decorative stitching. So we're going to select add. Once we select add, we're going to come to this section right here, our utility stitches to embroidery, and we're going to select our utility stitches to embroidery. Um, at this point, you just need to look and pick. That one looks really cool. It's like fishnet almost. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and pick number 25. It's a cute little snowflake. So I'm going to set that on my screen. Once I have that on my screen, I'm going to go ahead and move that up so that it's at the top of the coaster in the far left-hand corner. Now, if we select edit, there is a duplicate key here. This is where you can vertically or horizontally add above, add below. Horizontally, you could add to the left, add to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my vertical option and I'm going to add below. It doesn't look like I've filled it out yet, so I'm gonna add one more time and that almost gets me there. So then there's actually these two spacing keys where you can push these apart or squeeze them together. So I'm going to push it apart just a little bit. Look, three ticks and it's done. So I've managed to fill my row. Now I can go horizontally and take that one row and add it two more times so that I have three rows of stitches. But as you can see, they're all squished together. So horizontally, we can space them apart or push them together. So I'm going ahead and space them apart until I hit my center row and my far right row. And there we go. So now I've got my three rows of decorative stitches and I'm going to select OK. Now at this point, we need to tack down our back fabric. So we're going to go ahead and select add one more time from the memory of the machine. We're going to select that square again and select set. Now again, I like to colorize it so I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to my colorizing key here. Here on this last black square, which is right there, I'm going to make it yellow, red, orange, yellow, so that I know the steps that I have to take, the stuff that I have to do in building my design. So I'm going to select OK. Now that we've got our back fabric tacked on, we just need to add our final decorative satin stitches. So we're going to go ahead and select Add. And this time, we're going to go back to our frames. And from our frames, we're picking that same square. And this time, we're going to go ahead and select the satin square. There are all kinds of options here for you to choose from. If you want to do a blanket stitch coaster, you could do that. This one looks like lace. It's stinking cute. I like that one, too. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and select that satin stitch and select set. Now, you can see it's not big enough. So we're going to go ahead and select edit and select size. And we need to make it just a little bit bigger than our under squares. So our under squares were 403, and I'm going to make this one 419. If you use your select option here, you can scroll through the different aspects of your design. I'm going to select back one stitch. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. You can actually see the yellow, the last square that we added, and it fits within our satin stitching which means we're good to go. That satin stitch is going to leap over the edge of our cut fabric and batting, and it'll seal everything up nice and easy for you. So once you've got that, you're going to select OK. You're going to select Embroidery, and there you have your coaster, and you're ready to go stitch it out. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you would. Share it with your friends. You can always watch us on our Facebook pages, the Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore, Sewing Studio at Lady Lake. You can look at our YouTube channel. Share, like, spread the wealth, spread the information, the love, and the learning. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody.